area students have the opportunity to display their artwork in a special exhibit this month. Joining us via Zoom for our Creative Corner from the Springfield Art Association is Executive Director Betsy Dollar. Hi Betsy, how's it going? Doing well. Okay, let's talk a little bit about this Central Illinois Scholastic Exhibition. So Central Illinois Scholastic is a local competition that is part of a national scholarship competition for middle school and high school students. So they, so their teachers actually submit their artwork to be judged and then the top award winners from this region that goes from Champaign to Peoria, um, the gold and silver key winners are displayed here in Springfield at the Art Association on the walls. Um, and then we also have a little slideshow going of all of the honorable mention winners as well. Um, so the work is done by kids who range in age from, well, grade level from sixth grade to high school seniors. And the top award winners, their work is sent to New York and they compete for scholarship funds nationwide. Wow. Tell us where you're standing right now. Are you in this exhibit where the artwork is currently up? Yes, I am in the gallery. So as you can see one thing behind me, but I'm going to switch the camera around. You will get to see um, what the entire gallery looks like. So. Um, right here, you see these American Vision winners. So the, the work by these artists is actually going to be sent to New York to be judged. And just so you know, I'm going to zero in on this backpack because it's one of my favorite pieces. This is all ceramic. So like the papers coming out of this backpack are actually made of porcelain. They're not paper and the backpack itself that looks like leather again is um, glazed uh, ceramic so this is really a wonderful piece very nicely made um, but we've got all media we've got painting drawing um, photography digital media um, there's an animation piece there's some other sculptural work I'm trying to look you must be pretty amazed by these uh, students' talents. Oh, absolutely. Act literally every year, this is one of my favorite shows. It um, really shows how thoughtful um, high schoolers or students can be and, um, you know, that, that when they apply themselves, they really are skilled that they, when they, um, Look at that. You know, wow. When they're patient, when they're patient, they really do develop some amazing skills and, uh, you know, can create really, really good work. I would say that um, a lot of these kids could compete with um, adults and those who choose to go on to art school, you know, will do very well. Um, that they do have great skills, or even if they don't go to art school, if they just continue to do art, you know, as a hobby, um, you know, they definitely have skills. But um, I think one of the things that I've noticed is that more high schoolers are doing more with digital media and graphic design so that they are actually learning what I would call more marketable skills as opposed to just, you know, painting, drawing, or um, sculpture. So I think that will keep funneling creative people or keep creative students in the loop so that they will actually be able to make a living doing things that they love. Okay, Betsy, we're running out of time here, but let's remind people when they can check this out. Right, so the gallery is open Monday through Friday, um, nine to five, Saturdays, 10 to three. We're located at the Springfield Art Association in Springfield. Um, I believe that there may also be a link to this on the Scholastic web, the local Scholastic website, so that there is some um, virtual presentation of this work as well.
Well, I'm super excited to see which of these students, you know, goes on to the national level. Um, I hear that Central Illinois does pretty well in this competition year after year. So, Betsy, thanks so much yes, for joining us you. today. And for more information on Springfield Art Association and how you can go take a look, we'll connect you on our website, CILiving.tv. Thanks so much.